Alright guys, welcome back to PGA Tour 2K23. We're gonna go ahead and start this round. Um, I think it just started... What day is today? Sunday. So I think they, these end on Saturdays. Hello to you. My name's John and I'm officially welcoming you to this society event. And today starts um, with part four. Just pop this one out there into the short stuff and then we'll... A little cool to start there. the day. Not bad though. Uh, no practice or anything. There. I should have probably done okay, a practice swing, but who cares. On the first. Uh, some go uphill four feet, but the wind's helping, but, I mean, not enough for it to matter. As long as it gets over that ridge, I think we're good. Uh, push slow. Yeah, not getting over That's it. Safe. Here we go. Um, Coming up. Let's see, 137. They're kind of slow. Oh wow, I didn't, okay. Really need to hit those pretty hard then. And at the 137. That hole, we are at even par. But, here let me. There we go. Um, it up on the second hole. Let's see if we can't do something. Touch slow. Should bounce a little left. Yeah. But anyway, uh, played in what will be the final tournament that we played it. We play in this year. Um, nah, I knew it was slow. Shit, man, I'm. Tr I gotta really up tighten up here. Our third shot. Um. Get in the hole. And it was a two-man uh, scramble, so it was me and my dad. And what the? F All right. Nice. Why did that go dead left straight off the club face? So far, so good. That made no sense. You are sitting at one over par. Um. But unfortunately, he doesn't have a handicap. If he did, it would be. Um, pretty high. Only 98% power. Uh, okay. Let's get that great bogey back. That's a great approach. Um, yeah, if he did, it would Here probably be like a 20. There's a way right. to Got the bogey back, back but that should have been an easy birdie on that hole. I shouldn't have flopped it, I guess. Maybe it should have probably done a uh, longer chip, but oh well. And um, mine's only like a... A 3.6 or a 3.8 stand fairway. Thank you. Okay, I'll accept that. So we're basically going off okay, of a scratch handicap. Five or so to the pin from here. Um, because you know they, they only do like 15 percent, so basically scratch. All right, 185. So this should be the club. Put a little spin on it. Oh, oh wow, that flew, flew way too right, far. We'll that. Here we go. This one for birdie. Pushing was a hole. Okay, I'm pushing on my putts and pulling most of the other shots. Um, we started on hole 14, which we almost birdied. Um, just missed the putt, but we birdied the next hole and we're two. We were two under. Cause man, I almost eagled the 18th. Just damn, that's. That one's going down. Only thing I couldn't do was that, and I did it. Let's be careful um, out of here. Might not get all the distance you want. I was like 180 stuff. from the pin. Used a um... man. Everything is just you're gonna like fast. Setting up for fast and pull. All right, just get a par. Never mind. Yeah. Fifth shot's looking like. Still oh, almost. Nice little chip there. Um. Okay, you are at two over par. Two over. Let's see how close you can get this one uh, to the pin. Oh, I thought that was a par five. Wow. Okay, I wouldn't have. I'm an idiot. Just a pure swing. There we go. That's a good one. 
All right, we need to get this back, and uh, I need a minimum of five under, I think, for this round. So good. That was a fantastic shot. But anyway, um, yeah, it was only 180 out it, oh, in the rough. So I used uh, eight iron. I was 178. I used an eight iron, and it was. I think it was a touch short. Wonderful there we start. go, just a little push. Yeah, the touch short, we had like 15 feet for eagle. Um, missed it, of course. Uphill 16 feet. This is a pitch. What's a full uh, lob wedge get us? Uh, apparently way too far. We'll go with this. Oh, this one might need to sit. And all the way down. Well, not too bad. Luck would have it. Guess what? We're on the green. Good stuff. All right, here we go for the birdie. Ah. Uh, unfortunately, though, throughout the front nine, this putt's going. Really didn't make any birdie putts. We had a ton of opportunities, uh, but the putting just wasn't on for us that that okay. day. My par putting was amazing. I made like three or four par so saves from like. Eight to ten feet. Um, and then on the ninth hole, which is our only drop shot hole, which it shouldn't have been, we didn't realize. So the ninth hole is easily the hardest hole on the course. All right, drop this putt. Um, oh, I've played in two tournaments at my course this year, and out of ten people, nobody even parred the hole. It's par four. Four hundred. Damn it. Yeah, that's. I think it's like four forty, something like that. But you can't hit driver. It's very tough to get to where you need to be. Because your so your drive, this could be good. Yes. Horrible drive, great second. A six foot putt. Get the birdie. Nice putt. That's your fourth birdie of the day. Uh, one under through nine. All right, let's get another four through the back. Uh, but the drive is slightly uphill. I want to say um, you can't go too far. You're gonna because you end up in the pond. Um, if you go too far right, there's a tree that's gonna be in your way. If you go too far left in the rough. Which, I mean too far left, as in, if you're in the rough by five yards, trees are in your way. Slow. Damn. I gotta get that balance of slow and fast. I'm worried about hitting it way too fast, so I'm trying to slow it down, and it's just not working. Yeah, see, that was a pull. Pull fast, because I was like, alright, this one has to be a little bit harder. But, let's get it on, putt for a birdie. 81 to 93. Hmm. I think some D loft and stuff like that should be good for this. Perfect. It just, oh, way too far. It also took off to the left. Fourth shot. No, I think I need to chip this. Whoops. Still rolled on quite a bit. This one's for par. Damn. This one's tracking. Messed up the par five, but drops for par. Nice, nice we got one more. Um, stay at minus one but anyway, um, if you don't hit it 240, if you don't hit it 240 at least, um, there we go. Just a little bit fast. Unfortunately, still in the rough, but better than slow. That's heavy. Doesn't look it. Um, if you don't hit it at least 240, or if you don't have a 240 club, about 14 feet. You're going to be at least 220 to the hole on a par four to 240. Hmm. 
Man, I'm messing up these short par fours. Oh, we just didn't oh, hit it. Ever so close to, to getting that birdie. And I was about 230 something to 240 from the hole. Now we had a clear line to the hole. It was just in the rough, but kind of sitting up. Setting up here about. And Dad had about one. Slow. No, it's perfect. Okay, just. Shot off to the right. Oh, yeah. that was a tidy little shot. He only had about 180, All right, let's but get get there was a tree in the way. What's heading towards the hole? Okay, I was like, man, I pulled that shit out of that. Um, I was like, there's a tree in the way. I can draw it around this tree, though. Unfortunately, we so we took that one because I was like, I can draw it around there. What we didn't realize. Oh wow. Not the purest of strokes. Okay. Well, that's okay. Was that's that okay. we were basically in a hole. Maybe on the next shot. And oh, here's our second shot on the thirteenth. The ball was way below my feet. Decent chip. There was no way to stop it. So Alright, drop this on in and save your part. And so we just I mean I drew it, but it didn't get past the tree. So, went into the water. That's gonna do just nice Dad pushed his out to the right, which was fine. It went into to a bunch of leaves. Which we didn't realize that if you can't find your ball in leaves, what the hell? Hop out, please. Thank you. You just take a free drop to where you think it was. We didn't realize this. Neither did the people we were playing with, unfortunately. And so we took a drop, an actual drop. And so we're hitting our, you know, fourth shot from, from there instead of our third. Okay, how's an eagle sound? Because it synced this. Sounds like I need it. Um, and we hit pretty much almost as good as you could do. And got it, but we still got a double bogey out of it. Could have parred it and at least shot two under. Because again, except for that double and the two birdies, we parred everything else. But, you know, we'll know for next time. Damn it. I was trying to get a little extra power. Um, but so yeah, it did not. Didn't quite work out. It is it's a really bad lie, to be honest. Into the rough. But we hit an amazing shot. Oh, I, the green will do also. Okay, here's a 12 foot. I knew it. I was like, I need to move this over more, and just didn't do it. All right, drop this part. I hate it when I do that. And All right, let's get. We gotta try to get two more birdies and three holes. Hole is upon us here. Let's see what happens. It's uphill, so let's say 12 yards. Because it's uphill and down, and wind in our face, 207, we have a 217, this should be fine. Ah, slow. Wow, still went way too far. Approach shot worked out just fine. And this one's from 28 feet. Mm, not bad. And you've got this left for par on this one. Alright, two par fours. Good work. It's really messed up that front nine. Messed up all the par fives. Well, we birdied. Three under. Birdied the one, didn't we? I think. All right. Best of luck here on number 17. There we go. Go! Damn it. And from the green side bunker. Wow, that was slow. Ooh, right, stop dead. A lot of work left to do here. Nice shot. Ooh. Still though. To go. A bit of break and it's so pretty downhill. Boom, still got it. Nice work. That's birdie number seven today. Um the winners ended up only being eight under. Um and best of so luck you bring this one on home here on the eighteenth hole. 
except for two holes, we played really kind of bad. Putting was awful, except for the couple par putts I made. Our chipping wasn't good either. I mean, we, man, we could not chip. Ah, if that wasn't, never mind. I would say if that wasn't so slow, I think it'd be all over it. Boom, there's another green in regulation. Nice. All right, gets here. again, just immediately left when I pushed it to the right. I don't understand that. That would have taken us to our five under, which I say five just because that gives us a good chance on the second round to make the cut. I don't know what the cut is because this is the first day. Um... And I say that's probably, you know, that, that's probably one of the last times we'll end up going out playing until at least March. Because uh, it's just going to be pretty cold. Uh, this weekend isn't too bad. It's going to be, you know, 60 is the, the best, but just got some stuff to do around the house. So don't really have the time to play this weekend, but... Usually there is a day or two in December, and even in February, surprisingly, January there's really usually never is. But for some reason, last year, the whole last week or two of February is like was in the 60s. It was crazy. Is normally February is awful. I say we do full chip with this gap. Let it roll. Ah, it would have been good, but it kind of. Okay, let's do this. Thirteen. I landed it too far to the right. Ah. Oh. Right by the hole. Landed it too far to the right. Continued to roll to the right. So. It up on the third. Okay. Perfect. As good as it could be, just short. Okay. So yeah, I figured that would be fine. It was downhill, went in our face, but barely any winds. And I was like, you know what? Everything else, I think it's short. Ah, just not enough break. Everything else has been landing past the hole when, you know, it's like that. So I was like, oh, this one should be fine. But maybe it was because the, uh, because that club had a lot more height on it than the other ones because it was four iron we were using last time. This one's up here, wind helping. Let's do this. Uh, a little slow. I uh, should have realized off that that lie. I, I'm not even paying attention to the lies. Here we go. This is for birdie. Oh. Wow. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's get out of here. Tap Damn. Right. That's two. We should have really. Now you are at five under. We should have had. The wind's a little blustery. It's blowing right to left on this one. Bounce left. Damn, went to the right. Get off. And second shot here on the fifth. Definitely don't want to pitch in the heavy. This should be fine. Little pull. Yeah, I think this is gonna Sick. be okay. Okay. Nice shot. That'll that'll do. Let's see how Man, a lot of slope. To be honest, nine. to these greens on short putts. Got to be on the right side of the hole. Actually played too much break that time. And drop this one in for your par. You need, you really need to be below the hole on this course. After that one. Not a particularly hard course, but you have to position yourself with the on the greens. Perfect, just to push, which. Wow, okay. Nothing wrong with that, that really stayed out there. 
setting up here with a extremely long putt. Oh, right by. And four feet to go. Okay, five under par currently. All right, we're one under right now. Yeah, it up on a <laughs> we're one under last time with a damn double. Good. No laying up for you today, hey? Oh wow, that hit perfectly into that the upslope the there. Green putting for eagle. Nothing wrong with that. This is an eagle putt. I don't think I hit it. It's gonna line. break too much anyway. I didn't so hit it. Okay. Up short. At <sighs> Can't be short on your eagle now. putts. And now we're teeing it up on the eighth hole. Damn it. I was like, all right, let me not try to get too cute with this, you know, and do all this crazy stuff with the driver. Let me just hit a three wood because that should be able to get there. And of course, into the rough. Okay. It had to roll uphill, by the way, to get to that downhill slope. That is very, very long. Just, uh, do what you can. See if we can get this close, maybe. And just drop this on in, and you'll get a par. Damn it! And after that one, All right. six under. Let's get three under. Working with the tailwind on this Through hole. nine. Bit of a push, and it rolls all the way into the heavy rough. Setting up here in the deep stuff. Great shot. Well, you're gonna like that, won't you? And nicely. All right, that's three under through nine. No bogeys. Okay, seven under par at the moment. Let's see how this par five goes. I would think I'd have to get to thirteen or fifteen to make the cut. Considering though, this is one of the easier TGC right, things of CCA. Ah, I pulled it. The fast would have been fine if I hadn't pulled that. God. Oh yeah, so there's a there's a par five on my course that from the second longest tee box, which is what we played from, it's 604 yards. From the longest one, it's six like 640, 644. Uh, it's pretty straight, although left is woods, right is slight woods, and then you have a road. So it's OB if you go too far right. OB if you go too far left as well, but you know you also have the woods. Damn it. I tried to actually go a little less than 100. Well, that's unlucky. You didn't deserve that. Well, I don't know. I'm sucking. Again, drivable one, and I'm probably going to end up making a stupid bogey. Yep, that chip came out dead. Okay, this will save you par. Um, it's getting there. Really? Again, right off the club face, went to the right. God damn, man. And there we go. That's a bogey. Um, and, that seven and I was like, all right, I'm going to... Dad gets in the fairway. I'm going to try to hit it as, hard, as, far, as far as I can. So Dad got it in the fairway. Unfortunately, I went to the right. Um, Live wires are pretty nice. But, um, this one's looking good. Yes. And here's no potential birdie. And you're finding your way around this. So, the other two par fives, I wanted, I really wanted Dad to get in the fairway. Unfortunately, he didn't. Because the other two, I can get on the green with a driver off the deck if I hit it good. Um, unfortunately, he didn't get on the fairway. Um, so I wasn't able to, ooh, look at that, 
Well, okay, let me let me start over. I wanted Dad to get on the fairway. And then I'll try to hit it as far as I can. Now on two of the par five or one of the par fives, you can't do that. You can only hit it to a certain point and then you have a pond. Um, Come on, Bob. Kick uh, that was no good. Didn't end up too bad, though. You'll be all right and this there. is a par 5, I guess. Pitch a wedge nice into a par 5 isn't bad. Um, unfortunately, I think we were in... Damn it. Yikes, that went right we were just in a really, really bad spot on the first par 5. Um, so we had to just kind of hit out as far as we could. We're in the fairway. The 18th hole, the one we almost eagled, uh, I only, like I said, I only needed an 8-iron to get on. And then the other par 5, we were in the rough, so unfortunately weren't able to go for it on two of those. But the longest one, luckily, he did get it in the fairway, because I was not. And I was like, I'm gonna go with the driver at the deck because he had a great one. He had a fantastic uh, three wood to to lay us up because we still had like 300 and 20 or something like that. I can't remember. Okay, this hole we got a tailwind to deal with. Um, the wind's really helping us though. Like as long as we're not slow, we. Oh, good God! I didn't think it was gonna go that far up. Come down 30 feet. Yeah, well done. It's all right. Feet to the um, so I was like, I'm going to hit drive with the deck. It's like, alright. Because I, I mean, neither one of us really ever done it. That would be my f second time ever doing it. Ooh. Really? It broke that far Next left. The first time I did it just jokingly, like, because I was pissed Down off. So I did it, and it, it was a good shot, but I, you know, wasn't aiming anywhere. But then this time, I was like, and it went dead straight, go. decent height. And we had a, a pretty good um, look in at the green, you know, sh a much shorter shot than we normally would have. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Um, so I'm pretty proud of that. I can take, you know, that away at least. So it's like, if, I have a, if the opportunity arises you know, I have a good enough lie. I can I can take driver off the deck and actually hit a decent one. You know. And after that hole, currently 12 under par. And teeing it up now for the final hole. Now, when does the opportunity arise for that on you know the average round of golf? Hardly ever, because you know you need to be in the fairway for one. And then for two. That was well played. And if this drops, you'll get your birdie here. And yes. The funny thing was, this was a score I was trying to get to was 13 under. We did it. Nine under with a bogey. I'll take that. I'm happy. You know, play once a week. Haven't played for months and, you know, a couple of months. Actually, I don't think we've played this for a, lo a while. Um, but... You know, if you think about like, you know, let's let's think about my course. So the first par five, hole number five. Usually, I'll hit my three hybrid because a straight three hybrid and a straight driver go almost. Wow, that was awful. Is that OB? Let's kick okay. this one off in the it goes almost and, uh, the exact same distance because the first par five sets up for a draw. Good God, look at that pull. Wow, that went yeah, work, really far. Uh, nice Unless they got the better side of that lie in the rough. From the cup. Um, where the hole? Okay, yeah. 
wasn't, wasn't a great putt. All right, but the first hole is done. Bad first shot. Okay, second shot. Not a great putt. Par. Okay. Um. But anyway, I can't really draw my driver. I, I'm working on it all year, but I just can't get it down. I can cut it. Can't draw it. No good. Um. Wow. This was. This is not ideal. <laughs> Very fast. That felt like I swung it incredibly slow. Okay. Jeez. Six feet to the cup. A couple of scrabble pars on the first two holes, you know what I mean? Um but anyway. I can use it on the first par five. You are currently but the lie you're gonna have on your second shot to be able to hit a driver off the ground is like less than a five percent chance. Because, oh, but well, this could be really good. Oh my god. You couldn't have given me that from 220? Because it's such a downhill, side hill lie. Unless you get it to about 280. Damn it, I knew I was going to do that. And the only way you're getting it to 280 is to draw it. So if you can't draw your driver, you're not getting it. Um, Might call for some extra distance. You're not getting it far enough. That could actually be pretty good. Oh, I didn't even get okay, to the green. Done. You're in the fairway. Um, Let's hit up onto that green. That was slow. I swung that super fast. Okay, for the save. Really? That the break that goes to the right just didn't do a thing. The break that goes to the left didn't do a thing. What the fuck? So I guess that break that was right there going to the right, and then the same break that was going to the left coming back wasn't actually there. That's good to know. Fucking dumbass game. Whatever. Something went amiss. And again, that's the, the big reason why I decided not to play this and play EAs. Because I was getting so sick and tired of that happening. Literally, well, like four to six times around. Ooh, nice little chip on that one. And that was a good putt. Um, but anyway, so normally you can't hit a driver off the deck unless you do that. And even then, you've still got a, a big side hill lie, usually. Uh, the second par five, the seventh hole. Um, you could very easily hit a driver off the deck on that one, as long as you get it in the fairway. Uh, the only thing... is that if you go too far, you're going to be on another... Pretty big downhill slope, and you, I mean, if you want to hit a driver off of a severe downhill slope, wow. go ahead, but just so you know, you might not get over the pond that's right in front of you, because, I mean, a driver goes low anyway, hitting it from a downhill slope, really low. Um... So yeah, really the only one on the front nine is that second one. Now the third one, the longest one, hole 11. Um, oh, it didn't come down. Okay. I thought it was going to come down a little bit. Okay, back to level. Oh yeah, well played in there for um, the bird. That one you can again if you get in the fairway. Get in the fairway, you can pretty reliably probably hit a driver off the deck there. And then hole number 18 is a definite no. Just because if you hit off the white tees, which is the second longest, 
you're not gonna you know you're not gonna need a driver you're not even gonna need a wood or a hybrid in my case i needed an eight iron um and if you hit off the blue damn ouch oh, by the hole. Uh, went a little a little far Hot for the birdie which is what I normally will hit off of. I only actually need a four or a three hybrid to get there. My only problem is I need to be able to carry a small pond. And if you go left, there's a lake and um, a lateral hazard. Um, so... And the only thing is, like, my I don't hit my hybrids too high most of the time. I just need to work on it. Come on, get down on that green. Man, what a, what a shot! I need to really shorten my shots, I guess. This one's eight feet away. I pushed it like crazy. Good God, what a push! And this next pot for the park. Oh man. Awful. One under through nine, just like the first round. Super slow. Of course, on the par five. We can't get to this one and two anyway. So. Wow, okay. I thought that one was going to be fast. We're still in the rough after that one. No good. That green is well below us. We might need a little less club than normal. No, I took an extra one. Pin high, just a little left. Getting back in the fairway, taking yourself out of harm's way. This one's six feet away. Looking good. But, you know, we had fun. And actually, Dad got closest to the pin. It was a closest to the pin on two par threes and a long drive on the first hole. And man, if I hadn't have pulled my drive a little bit left into the rough on the first hole, I would have had that closest to the pin on that one. I mean, that longest drive. And it's funny because I'm not a long drive person. I can't. A fucking course. I can't drive it that far. Setting up for our third shot. This one's a little to the right on a Yeah, why wouldn't that have. Man, I just hate so much how fucking fast you have to swing your pitches. And the chips, for that matter, Ooh. to not nice be slow, chip. it doesn't make any sense. So so okay, well it's played. like, if you take an example of real life, how you swing your driver is like how you need to swing your pitches in the game. Let's see what it, it doesn't make any sense. My driving that's is not, awful. That's not a great one. I don't think this is going to be good. No, this is very, very I'll tell you what, though. We could have actually had a great four rounds if my driving right wasn't so terrible. The there it is. Like, I think, <laughs> I think per round I've hit, like, what, four or five Let's fairways? See what happens here on the 13th hole. Crazy. Suck. Shucking ass. Damn it. Still, I mean, it would have been decent pin high, but it was fast. Ah, I knew it. It never even went left. There was a little bit of slope going to the left, so that's why I didn't move it that far to the left. Because of the slope going to the right, but... Um, it really didn't do anything, and so it just pushed it way out to the right. little play. Okay, this is looking to be about 225 from the pin. Hit it almost, well, I guess not almost perfect. There's two things, a slow and a pull. But they, I guess, you know, level each other out. Can I get an eagle? 
No. 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 Here we go. This one for Birdie. And 14 under is your score. Back to one under for the day. This one looks like it'll play. I figured out the driving on the last hole a little bit. Come on, ball. Wow, that's short. Jesus. Okay, best of luck with this Wasn't that far uphill. Good God. Oh, rolled right by. All right, tapping that one in for par. Moving on. 14 under after that hole. But I'm going to try to. Here now on the um, hmm. It's uphill seven feet. Six iron. Let's do this. Damn it. The slow would have been okay. But combined with that push, and this is a guaranteed bogey from here. Um. Yeah. Wow, it somehow it got on the green. Okay. You've got this left to save your par. Oh, we oh, could have. I would have hit it a little bit harder. And you are currently level par, par for the day. But and anyway, I plan on this year because I wasn't able to last year. But. I plan on this looks pretty safe. On the days that I can, I'll go to the range, chip and putt. You know, just to keep things um, fresh. And we built an addition here. onto our house this year. This one's tracking. It took about six months to complete because it was only you know, my dad, his brother couple of people helping once in a while so it took that quite a while your current score cost a lot of money but I was able to put uh, some four. stuff in the room where I can hit golf balls for like winter rain or if I just can't get out the house for some reason yeah, this one's around 140 and my plan is save up some money and get one of those things where you can simulate, you know, playing on a course. That's my plan. Damn it. was almost in six feet to go here. And at the moment, um, we've been, you know, a lot of hours at work, so able to save up some money right off the bat. So may maybe, you know, on one of those sale days, Black Friday, something like that, I can get that. Figure out how to hook it up, because I have no idea. Hello and welcome to this society event. My name is John. I am very excited for this final round. Mostly excited for you. You're the one doing the work. Wow, they must have moved the tees back a lot on the final yeah, round because normally this hole you can get to go. really close, I thought. Uh, all right, worked out because of the, yeah, that's gonna work. the wind. Here's oh, look for God. Hey. So, so good. Played the hole pretty good, got a birdie out of it. And after that one, 15 under. Teeing it up here on hole number two. Damn it. I was like, all right, I figured it out a little bit, and then immediately didn't do it. Well done. But it's all right. It's a short hole. 88 yards. Log wedge goes way too far. Pull fast. Wow. The fairway this time. Setting up here now for our. That's the one shot in real life I got. You need me? Oh shit! You need me from 80, 90 some yards? I'm getting you within 10 feet. 
That was such a bad sand shot. I felt the vibration and just kept going for some reason. Damn. Something was a little bit off on that one. That made no sense. <laughs> you like how much it rolled uphill? Feet. Oh, it's getting there. In the hole. Right, we have a birdie, a bogey, a par. 14 under after that hole. This one's a par four hole. Damn it. All right, stayed in the fairway. And this is about 170 yards to the pin. Damn it. I knew that one was slow immediately. Stayed online because of a massive pull, but this is your third shot. Oh, look at here. Nice chip. This putt's going. Well done on this one. And 14 under is your score. Stepping on to a par four hole on this one. Yeah, they rip. God damn it! What the fuck? Hopefully, this sticks to the uh, fairway. They really move the tee boxes back because this one you could all, you could get all the way down there. Sand. I was worried about just getting over that lip, to be honest. Well, that's great. Leaving the bunker behind. We're putting. Here we go. This putt for the birdie. Not an awful putt, to be honest. <laughs> Fuck you. Piece of shit. And as that putt drops, let's take a peek at the scorecard. All right, let's see what we can do here on the sixth hole. Okay. Good work there. Great shot on the all right, this is for the bird. That shows some All right, bird got it back right the away. The last one we've, on the you last. know, we got a birdie and lost it right away. So. And sitting at 14 under par after that hole. And now we're teeing her up on the seventh hole. All right, so I only found it for a few holes. We'll have that. <laughs> With the drive. Ten yards from the pin. Give me the full shot, motherfucker. Pull. Bounce right. Come on. Yeah, it's still short. Should have put a little pretty. bit of deloft on there. Mm, just need a little bit. All right, here we go. Give a tap and we'll more. The next. Fourteen under after that hole. Okay, eighth hole coming up. <laughs> oh, at least it's in the fairway. Got about 110 yards to go here. Hopefully, this one will bounce to the right. Safely on the green. Because I didn't need any. That's. Uh, here we have a forward momentum. Putt. Wow, okay. Wow, amazing. The first hole in this hole making ridiculous putts. And after that hole, it looks like 15 under is where you sit. And now teeing off on a par four. Nice swing. There we go. And this is about. 165 yards or so to the pin. So this should be, god damn it. Come on, so it should be good, and it would have been. We're fucking pin okay, high. Okay, we're on the green. From here, who knows what could happen, but uh, uh, maybe a make? Perhaps. 
perhaps a make. We don't need another look. I don't play well enough or often enough to have deserved another look. Like once every round, I'll have something that is really good, you know. There we go, that one was decent. Sweet. Okay, third shot. I was trying so hard not to pull it. Still did a little well bit at the end, but wound up okay. This could be a birdie if you want to drop this in the hole. Nice putt, and that is for birdie number five on the day. And after that hole, you are currently 17 under par. Hole number 11 coming up. I was like, just don't be slow. It was pulled, unfortunately. Other than that, hit it perfect. Here's an 11 footer. Damn it. Ooh. I knew it immediately. Left for par. Well done. And you're currently sitting at 17 under par. All right, let's have a nice tee shot and land it nicely in that fairway. Nice swing on to that one. Yeah, and I don't know when I'm going to get back to the career mode for EA. About um, I would really, really like to. Away. But... Nah, I knew that one was going to be Ooh, slow. Pull helped it out a bit. Um, yep, there's also answer. that problem of... Here's a third I could foot. not get work out there. That's both sw yeah. different swings down. Okay, after that hole, sitting there, like, it was fine going back to EA because that one was a flick. But for some reason, I just couldn't... Could not get this one down. After playing Swing EA... Like Nice shot into this green. Good work. All right, drop this one in. This one for birdie. And I started. Um, oh. Damn it! I knew I didn't. I knew I didn't put enough this putt's good break on that thing immediately. That was a good putt. Um, I started with this one again just because EA was, you know, having updates, and I really wanted. I really wanted them to add two round tournaments. They're not going to. They're just sticking with the one round, the short round, or the full. So, sucks for me, who wants um, a two round, which is what you could do in other games. That was a great shot. So what I'll do probably is go one round for normal tournaments and full rounds for... Majors. Hey, that's an eagle. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be for eagle. And yeah, um, whenever I do back. get back to it, I really wanted to play Ryder Cup stuff. Unfortunately, that was just online. They, that's the only thing that they added in was online for the Ryder Cup. Um, well, have a good hole. We've got a par four for this one. Didn't have my setup fixed. The audio fixed right, yet, so got a hold of that one. That was as good as you could hit that. Second shot here on the 15th. It's uphill. Just don't be slow, and it's slow. And that slow didn't really do anything to it. It was more of a just didn't have enough power. I wanted to try to de loft it a little bit ah, didn't hit the mark, didn't and should have just okay, here's our either went shot. up a club. Great or played a different here, type of shot here. completely. But EA updated while I was starting this game. Go on um, okay. Okay, there you go. I'll say the and the only thing I have with EA that I think besides the wow. 
Maybe I just really misread that one. I went too fast, maybe. Besides the two-round tournaments, I think the thing of their... I just think their swing needs to be a little bit different. You know, after playing it for about 80 hours, I think that's the amount I got out of it is about 80 hours right now. I honestly just think they need to have a slightly different swing mechanic. Um, I would say a little similar to this one. Just because driving is way too easy. Um, hitting shots within a certain vicinity is just... You're not going to have any mistakes that are, you know, like 20 yards left. You know, you're not going to have those shots. Unless, for some reason, you yank your controller, you know, an insane distance to the left or something. I don't know. But... But you're just not going to have those shots. That was good. Um, and that's why I exclusively would play career mode in Sim. Because otherwise it would just be way too easy. And 8 under with 2 bogeys. Not, 2 bogeys and an eagle, not bad. But yeah, I think those are the two things I need to switch for me. Um, they can do whatever they want with online. I would like a ranked more in tune with this one. Um, but again, I don't really care. I don't play enough. I just don't play enough. I enjoy other games more than the golf ones, unfortunately. So Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Didn't play very well except for two rounds. Played decent. Nine and an eight. That's a 17 right there. Ended only 20 under, I think. What did I end? I can't remember. Anyway. Ended 22 under. Yeah, nine and an eight. One for round three and four for round one. So, not great. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.